What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Um, this is a free general collective reading for all signs. Cap suicide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages. Resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash, have no Venmo. It's very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I received another channeling, and it's a trigger warning, so if you get triggered, please click off. It's not my intention to trigger anybody, but I'm just here to deliver the spiritual messages from the spiritual universe, okay? So if it triggers you, please click off, okay? Um, it is about an overdose and a death, um, just to let everybody know, okay? Okay. All right, so the channel message I received was, um, I heard upcoming within the next three weeks, I heard that specifically, the next three weeks. Um, there is a, uh, initiation. I heard a sorority and a fraternity. So it's two, di two different situations, a sorority and a fraternity. I heard they are, uh, initiating and hazing, um, initiates into the sorority and fratern fraternity. But I heard in these situations, there will be a drug overdose and there will be an alcohol poisoning. I heard there will be deaths, um, in both of these situations. So, some kind of hazing and initiation into a sorority or fraternity. Now, I've never been in a sorority or fraternity or any of that shit, nor do I ever want to be. But um, I went to, I graduated community college at 30, so that wasn't me. But I would have been about that life anyways. But my point is, somebody within the next three weeks, I feel it might be younger energies, uh, younger adult energies, and it's, uh, wanting to get into a sorority or fraternity, they're about to be hazed. Um, the other, the initiates that are already in the sorority or fraternity, I'm presuming, are going to initiate these soror these people that want to be in the sorority. So they're going to haze them. But they're going to haze them with some kind of drugs or alcohol. I heard there will be one, overdo one overdose. It will result in a death. There will be one alcohol poisoning. It will result in a death. So at least two deaths here. At least two. Now, I don't know why I'm pulling this in. Maybe one of you guys know these people or you're connected to these people or maybe you're in these sororities or fraternities or you know somebody in these sorority or fraternities or you know somebody about to be initiated into these sororities or fraternities. But I will tell you there will be two deaths. Um, that's all I heard so far. That's pretty crazy. When these deaths occur, there's going to be a huge investigation. Nobody is going to want to take responsibility for this, but they're going to have to. It's going to turn into a huge thing. The families are going to want justice. Okay, I heard when these uh, when these deaths occur, nobody's going to want to take responsibility for the hazing, the initiation, the alcohol poisoning, the drugs, the alcohol. And it sounds like these people are probably under 21. The drugs are not supposed to have period, but the alcohol poisoning, they're probably under 21. Or nobody's going to want to take responsibility for it. Of course they're not. Nobody's going to want to take responsibility for it. Um, they are definitely under 21, both of these people. Oh, my God. Okay, that's confirmation. They're definitely under 21, both of these people. So both these people are about to pass away, or they're both going to be under 21. I feel college student energy, like 17, 18, 19, 20. And I'm just being for real. But nobody's going to want to take responsibility for the deaths, these little young bucks that basically got him into this shit to begin with. This is terrible. But I heard the families are going to want justice. They're going to want justice for the deaths. And yeah, I would want justice for my kids' deaths. And that's just the truth. Um, I heard it's going to turn into a huge thing. It is going to turn into a huge, huge ordeal. There will end up being lawsuits over this, family to family. These people have big money. Oh my God, I heard it's going to turn into a huge ordeal, family to family, lawsuits, family to family, apparently the people, the kids that are about to pass away, it sounds like they have money or the people, kids that initiated these people have big money. Somebody has big money in here, whether it's the kids, that are, uh, kids families that are about to pass away or the kids families that initiated and haze these kids to drug overdose or to drink so much that their body can't handle it and they pass away from alcohol poisoning. But somebody's family's got big money in here. I heard there will be lawsuits and they're going to want justice, which 
I don't care how much money you, sh you have. You should want justice if it's an injustice in the universe. But in all fairness, these kids shouldn't have been consuming drugs or alcohol under 20. Oh, well, you shouldn't be consuming drugs, period. But alcohol under 21 years of age or period. Be my niece to hear that. This is about to cause an invest investigation into a very prestigious college. And it's about to cause huge changes in one of these colleges after this occurs. It's about to turn into a huge thing. Oh my God. So it's at a college. It's, it sounds like these deaths are going to occur at a college. Or at least one of them is. Um, a very prestigious college. It sounds like a party school. Um, and I'm just being for real. It sounds like a party school. And it's going to cause a huge investigation into one of these colleges. Um, and I heard there will be changes made after all this occurs. It doesn't sound like this has occurred yet. I heard within the next three weeks. So we're at 929 of 2022 right now. So until October 20th. So right, not right before Halloween, but a little bit before Halloween. That's pretty crazy. Alabama, Tennessee, Florida. Alabama, Tennessee, and Florida is what I heard. And Texas, in Texas. Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, and Texas. So maybe these colleges or these sororities or fraternities are in Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, or Texas. Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, and Texas is what I heard. I think the colleges are in Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, or Texas, or the sorority or fraternities are, or what have you, what have you. Holy crap. I heard within the next three weeks. So you guys plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and I'm going to stay.